Yo, what's up, guys? It's Teacher here, and I'm gonna show you today a 4 bit multiplier that will be my CPU. And this is actually my CPU cut here, so I won't show you it, all of it, it's just yeah. But yeah, this is a 4 bit multiplier, two 4 bit inputs, and a 8 bit output. Uh, this uses a flat C A E C A cut cancel adder or cut carry adder whatever you want to call it pretty much the same thing and yeah this adder is made by me and magic magical gentleman um he's he he was a uh, founder of the uh algorithm well one in minecraft anyway the first one to build it in minecraft don't know if anyone else found it but yeah he's basically made this vertical then I bugged him to shit to make him make it flat with me so yeah here's a four bit version of it it's not very small it's not got a nice signal strength output it just works for this and but yeah it is I think five ticks so let me just count this quickly one two three four one Four, four ticks. One, two, three, four. I think it should be five ticks, but oh <laughs> well. I think this way is five ticks. I need to change that. So it's one, two, three, then four, five. Yeah, it should be five ticks. I'll add an extra tick for these parts, but other than that, yeah. This adder is pretty cool. So let me divide time something even. I just did a dividing video, so yeah. So let's do uh fifteen. Oh, fifteen times. Um, let's do seven. Fifteen times seven. That gets us nine plus thirty-two plus sixty-four. So let me do that right now because my math skills aren't that great. So nine plus thirty-two plus sixty-four equals one hundred and five. Let's do seventeen eight fifteen times seven. Yep, that is correct. One hundred and five. So let's do another one. Then let's look at the actual speed of this thing. So let's do so let's do uh, six times three. That should be eighteen. Sixteen two. Yep. Eighteen. Okay. So. This thing is, I'm pretty sure it's 13, no, 12, 11, 11, I think it's 11, okay. So I'm going to count, usually there'd be a buffer here, but I'll count this tick anyway. So 1, 2, 7, 'cause 5 ticks. So 7 plus 4, because PLA, so that's 11 ticks, yep. I think it'd be 10 but I don't know if I'm gonna have a buffer there so f just for now this is this is uh, actually no, this is one extra tick actually it's 12 ticks this should be here I think to match the ticks of that over there to make it fair and yeah so this will be my CPU also and yes I'm gonna have a divider multiplier uh, and yeah that's just to make things a lot quicker for divider for dividing that will take at least 16 cycles if not more because that 12 ticks up my CPU speed will be I'll go over that in the next video I'll record but 
the divider will take about 16 cycles and this will take about two to load then to read so I'm having these two things in because the, uh, to actually run the program in my CPU isn't that nice because it's slow it's not slow but compared to the CPUs but yeah I would not like to code that and it's easy just to send a couple of bytes to a piece of hardware then get it back a lot quicker than doing an algorithm and it, it saves a lot more space and a lot of stuff like that and you can do other stuff for while it's waiting to compute for example my divider over there that takes 16 cycles I could be doing eight multiplications between that and yeah so it's a very very handy thing so yeah that's about it for this episode um, I will put a link to it in the description for the CCA adder if you uh, haven't seen the video already you should it's quite long and if you if you really want to learn the uh, logic for it, it I'd rec very I'd recommend the uh, words can't even I'd recommend watching it because it's pretty cool how it works. Um and yeah, I'll see you later, guys. Stay tuned for the next video.